John Paul Stevens, who is a retired Supreme Court justice, just made a stunning announcement about the Second Amendment. It has patriotic Americans up in arms. Since the recent shooting in Parkland, Florida, liberals have returned to the gun control bandwagon. Last weekend, left-wingers assembled in Washington, D.C. to demand strict laws on gun ownership. Although they know little about gun basics, they expect us to take them seriously. There's always been one problem with gun control, our Bill of Rights protects us from it. The Second Amendment to the Constitution prevents the government from denying us the right to bear arms. It is a major liberty, one that upholds all the rest. Much of our society depends on the public being able to own firearms. Try as they might, gun control advocates cannot get their way. Former Supreme Court Justice John Paul Stevens has the solution. Obviously, you can't pass laws contradicting the Second Amendment. Gun control advocates cannot get Congress to invalidate the Constitution. So, you just have to repeal the Second Amendment. Writing for the New York Times, Stevens uses the recent gun control dust-up as an excuse to revoke this major right. This 97-year-old man is clearly out of touch with the very laws that he once claimed to uphold. He makes excuses for the Second Amendment, claiming it was only to protect insecure states from a national army. He even called it a relic of the 18th century. Yes, because today, nobody is worried about an overpowered government robbing us of our rights. Oh wait, we are. Under the last administration, Americans' right to privacy was violated by the NSA. It was clear that Barack Obama abused his federal power to persecute political rivals, depriving them of their rights. Many Americans are worried about police brutality and abuse. Most citizens are concerned about terrorism and crime. All of these things can be easily confronted and held in check by a populace that is armed. This former justice doesn't seem to understand that. He claims that removing guns from law-abiding citizens would eliminate the threat of school shootings. Stevens gives very little explanation for why repealing the Second Amendment would fix everything. He, like all liberals, casts the National Rifle Association as some kind of villain. He doesn't offer any reason how or why ending gun ownership would lead to a safer America. The former justice doesn't even acknowledge how gun-free zones are always the target of killers. It's because nobody is able to shoot back. Of course, Stevens is ignoring the reality of repealing a constitutional amendment. In a word, it's impossible. Obviously, Stevens is under no illusions that could happen. Most likely he is advocating that the Supreme Court abuse its power by passing a ruling which invalidates the Second Amendment. Much like the court did in legalizing abortion, they could rule that the amendment is no longer valid. Easier than passing another amendment and much harder to overrule, which is why Stevens' op-ed focused on past Supreme Court rulings that affected gun control. The good news is, our current Supreme Court is not very likely to do so. President Donald Trump has promised to appoint constitutionalists to the court, people who will not invalidate citizens' rights. Had crooked Hillary been elected, that would have been a different story. But the fact that a former justice is making this statement is troubling. It will only add fuel to the left's fire.
Expect the anti-gun rhetoric to grow even more outrageous.